All right, we are ready for our first game. First of all, I want to thank the support of everyone on who has uh, <laughs> taken a look at that first video um, and all that fun stuff. I don't know how frequently I'm going to make these videos. I'll probably do it based on the support. And the su if the support continues and the support is good, then um, I will continue to, to upload this series. Obviously, five views in the first three days of the video being up isn't amazing, um, considering some of my other videos, but uh, it is what people wanted, so we're going to continue with that. So I've got two players marked out that I kind of want to sign. So both are young players that, uh, and he's out on loan, so we can't get him this season. But uh, Tim Prika is someone who I do want to bring into the club. I think that he is kind of that perfect mold for a player that will really be able to... Um, boost us going into the future we can't sign him this season next season we probably will but those are two players I've kind of signaled out for next season and I don't know I don't think we really at least right now need to sign anyone there was no one on the free agents that uh, stood out I don't believe I signed anyone um, yeah we've just sold Absalonson to Luton Town for 250000 Uh We do, however, if we go here to the Youth Academy, we do have another player in our Youth Academy. This is Morten Svedsen, who is a pretty much just a wonder kid. Um, <laughs> it's the simplest way to put it. He looks like an absolute tank and... Um, It'll be very interesting. He might end up becoming a center back. I actually hadn't checked that because he does have that um, possibility. He, Yeah, he probably well could be a center back. So I think we'll train him to be a center back, see where that takes his overall um, over the next two weeks. But anyway, we do have our first game. We're going up against the Dents. And um, I'm thinking... A win is crucial here. Um, I'm not sure where Odent should finish, but I look at pretty much every game that isn't one of like the big teams that needs to be a win. So let's just get into the match. That is the starting lineup. All right, let's get it started. Dalhenda, he's brought it up to right. Not in a great spot. And uh, poor pass. They've been on the attack this entire time. We really haven't been able to get into their um, get into their half too much. But uh, they also just can't get it into our box at all. This will probably be their first attempt. It's off a corner. They get it. And Dalenda with... A really cool headed block. Erickson to right. To Dalhenda. On that wing. He's pushing up. And couldn't get in the middle. Not a good position. Can't Didn't see who it was. But now they're on the counter attack with Sabi. And we're going to put a big slide tackle in there. And I, I'm pretty sure we got the ball there. We're going to get a yellow aren't we? No, just talking to, so not too bad. Right, with a bad touch there, but now it's to Jakobsen. A little step over, and a poor pass that I thought was going to be a cutback more than anything. Didn't, and now they're well, are on the counter, and we can't counter-counter. Just not able to get to it. We've absolutely been dominated this first half. But Eskson now right. It's a good save. 
but it's, I think, the first shot on target, and it's us. But the American could not get that ball past the keeper. Not a great shot. It's a cross, and Kanstrup cannot put it in the back of the net. And we just block them. I mean, they haven't been threatening to us at all. And somehow that's gone in. How the keeper didn't save that is ridiculous. I want to see it again. I mean, the goalie say should save that every time. There's no excuses in that. Right before halftime, too. We're going to have to tactically change some things because this is just not good enough. It's the wrong pass again. He cannot get the... His vision must be about 20 because he can never get the right pass that I want him to. And they've put a lot of pressure there. That's a good save. And it was offside as well. Eskison sees the run of Dalhenda. Dalhenda, could he take it on his own? Brings it back, sees Eskison, sees the run of Albeck, who the keeper saves the shot. But Onazi, Eskison, right, and it's a goal. And we're back in the game. A little tactical change, a little tactical genius has put us straight back into this game. Playing more on the front foot instead of on the defense has absolutely done it for us. So that is good. Okay. Big tackle from Vanguard. Onazi well, seeing the through ball here from Jakobsen. Who's just going to take a bit of a run with it, take a shot, and score a goal. It's been excellent playing here. Playing in the on the front foot instead of playing on the defense and uh, trying to hit counters has definitely worked for us for the better as we are starting to dominate in this game. Jakobsen. Jakobsen gets fouled. We've put on uh, Friedrichsen. Uh, Schmiedel as well. I see the through ball there, but Jakobsen decided to just stop it there. Uh, we also put on, I can't remember his name, but um, the our, our striker on the bench. Seeing the run of Christensen. The third striker of ours to get a goal today. And that is the third goal, and probably the only one we need to continue with this game. Good play by Kunstrup there. Nice one, one two by Anazi. Good vision for Dalhenda. He was a bit slow to it, but Eskison misses it. Christensen sees the run of Jakobsen, who puts in the fourth. And it's an absolute domination in the second half against Odense. And, uh, yeah, that'll probably put us top of the league. Um, four goals scored. Jakobsen can go for a hat-trick here. I am speechless. I did the time finish. I don't like time finish. But I did the time finish. And it just worked perfectly. I mean, you look at the position he's in. And you just whack it into the top corner. Perfectly. I mean, it was a rocket. There's nothing he's doing there. And that's going to be the end of the game. 5-1 in the first game and a hat-trick from Jakobsen. 
I mean, it's pretty good uh, to start off with. So, we've seen some good things and so far, and uh, it can only really improve from here, can't it? So, yeah. Good stuff. So, on accident, I quick simmed the game against AC Horsens. Um, didn't mean to do that at all. Um, the quick sim was not supposed to happen. I was going to team management and just hit A too early. Um, so that's a slight issue. Um, but I've also just changed around the tactics, given a few players, uh, the development plans, uh, some of the younger players at least. So this is where we're at. We're second, and we, we're, well, we're not second, we're like fifth in the league. Uh, we got a game, we'll probably just finish up this month. So, that'll pretty much be it for the episode, but, uh, yeah, I'll just see you guys then. Okay, so Svedson can now become a center back. He's gone up two overall. I think what we'll do, just get the sweeper because the stand tackle is pretty good. Um, though, if I can get all of them. Yeah, I think we'll just go for the sweeper because that's probably the best option for him. Um, for progression for now, again, ETA of a week to, to 57, which is really good considering he's still 15. Um, we're just going to continue on from there. Anyway, so we have a game against, I guess it's Veal uh, Bulb Club. I or Bulb Club, I'd, I'm not really sure. Uh, names are not my forte. Uh, but we are going to have a few changes in the lineup. Christensen's going to come in. Schmiedel's coming in for Bengard. I'm going to put Simonson in as well. And uh, Olofsson is going to come on for Gartenman. Olofsson being a really good prospect for us in center back. So I want him to get game time. So that is why we're going to be playing him. All right, let's get into the game. It's a slightly rotationed or ro rotated side, but I'm I'm sure we'll do all right. Putting a bit of pressure on him. All bike coming through here, and it's just not there. Also, slightly off. Oh, there was just an injury. Um. Well then. I don't think that was a rough challenge, but. That's their striker gone. I don't want to let him get too far into this game. Because I really want to, um... I really want to just shut out and get a clean sheet. Because we haven't had one yet. That was a poor pass, but we got there in the end with Chris Jensen. And uh, he gets his second goal of the season. The young striker. <laughs> a class ball there. Uh, anything but a class ball. But it's still a goal. We'll have to get the passing up. But. Um, Chris Jensen looking like a good prospect for us. And a good player. Eskison with a good bit of play there. Christensen's just going to cut through here. I was going to go for a finesse shot, but he gets cut down in the box. Probably illegally there, but we'll see. Schmiedel taking a run with it. Christensen to right, who just puts it in the back of the net. That's what he's there for. He's just a goal scorer. Can't do anything else. And that's 2-0 uh, now. The press has completely demolished them. And uh, they look done. They look done for. 
Askerson to right. He's going to just bully his way through here. And it's no skill involved in that. It's just a bit of dribbling and a shot and a bit of strength. And, uh... I mean, that's just poor defending, isn't it? Like, we go up against Copenhagen and Michelin, and they're not going to take that type of abuse, are they? Not in the slightest. Um, apparently, this is what happens to the formation when you go defensive. I'll have to change some things, but we're going to have to go back to balanced because it hasn't fixed that stupid thing where if you change the formation once, it doesn't change it at all. Olofsson with some good vision there to get it to Anazi. Eskison's going to run with it. He sees Dalhenda. Sees the run of right, who I was going to try and get it to Christensen, but I should have just shot it. And it's a goal. I mean, it was a pretty simple one coming. And he just kept going, kept running. And quite frankly, I couldn't see him not scoring that. I mean, it was just... It was what it was. They gave him the space and we just took advantage of it. And we're going to make some substitutions now. Oh, it's just a bad time tackle. I thought I was getting in quicker and he shot as I went for the tackle. That's poor. And I went the wrong way too. I knew he was going that way and I just went the wrong way. Right, got it. He's not a good and he just he can't he can't cut back at all. It, it, right cutting back is impossible. I I like a more technical striker than a physical striker. I mean, I want him to have physicality, but his inability to just control a ball frustrates me. And uh, if I did get an offer for him, I'd probably say okay next season. Um, just because he's not the type of player I want, despite the fact that he's just a natural goal scorer. I mean, it's his hat trick now. Good striker, but he's not technical enough. I like my technical players in FIFA. So he may... Don't get too attached to him, but we'll see what happens. Alright, I, I don't think we need to play the last five minutes. It, the game is well and truly over. We're just going to skip to the end. And um, it is another 5-1 win. We, we have a slight issue. Our team is incredibly tired. Wow, this is just not going to be a fun game. We're going with a very, very rotated side. Um, our defense is pretty decent. We also have Jakobsen, but everyone is absolutely exhausted, and we're going up against probably the best team in Denmark right now. So, Vinderklev tried to get it to Jakobsen, but it just wasn't going to work. Their goalkeeper's holding on the ball way too much. That is something I hope we can take advantage of in this game. Vinderklev, just a little behind the pace. Not the best match sharpness on him right now, but hopefully this game will help him. Oh, it's a good save there. And not a bad challenge in. Uh, Bangard trying to come in. To stop it, but Thomas has a very good save. Good save from the Australian keeper. Albeck with a brilliant save there as well. Just to put off the shot. I think it was Sisto that made the shot. Albeck's coming through here. Arabaki gets the ball taken away from him. And they're just on the attack completely. 
Henson's running for the ball. And uh, he's just going to run with it for a bit. No one's putting too much pressure on him. He gets it to Arabaki. Tries to do some trickery there, but can't really do anything with it. Vinderclove, what the f are you doing? <laughs> what a what a bad player. But uh, and Sisto with a goal. I mean, it came from Vinderclove's little like whistle pass that just went nowhere whatsoever. Krev with a goal. I mean. That was just going to happen. They broke us in the middle. We couldn't get a tackle in on them. And and quite frankly, there's nothing I can really do. If, if I try and put someone on, they're just going to be tired in five minutes. So, we just got to live with our lack of squad depth. Arabaki, just do it. Just take the shot. He takes the shot. And it's our first shot, I think, in the game. All right, Simonson and Schmiedel are coming on because we have tired players in Ba and uh, Gunstrup. I'm a little worried. I think the floodgates will open now because Gunstrup's been excellent despite the fact that he's the most tired player on the... Fuck's sake. That was awful. That was just awful defending. Vibe scores. We get a vibe check and uh, our vibes are worse shit. Uh, it's just all the wrong passes though in general. And I can't blame a 51 overall striker. But. And he's, he's actually scored. The young lad. He might as well go celebrate. Arabaki with a goal. Unsurprised, well, a bit surprising actually. I'm assuming the Michelin fans are disappointed that they let a, what is he, 19 year old score? We haven't been awful. I mean, Vinder Club's been awful, but we haven't, on the whole, been awful for a rotated, tired team. So, overall, I think we haven't shamed ourselves in this game. And Arabaki got a goal as well, so it's good for that young player to, to really, you know, do well against such a big opposition like Michelin. Alright, we're going full strength lineup here against Aris. Uh I think there's really nothing you can do wrong by going full strength against another top team. So that's what we will be doing. Let's get in to the game. Oh wow, I didn't even expect that one to go in. That was an absolute rocket and uh, Ara score the first goal. Very unexpected and uh, not a bad effort to be honest. Right, this is an important one. All back. Good, good. Back into the game. 1-1. One, one. All back with a very good goal. Right, finally with a good pass. And uh, that is exactly what was needed.
All right, we've hit half time. I think it is one of those where we need just a little spark of something else just to give us that extra push. We can't get it off of them. But, uh, right. Decent pass to Dalhenda. But Dalhenda's got nowhere to go. Got pass to Eskison. And I see Jakobsen, but he's just too slow to get to it. Uh, he gets taken down there in a minute of added time and gives a yellow for it. It's a nasty challenge, but we can just pass it around and get the draw, and I think we'll be okay here. I don't think we need anything more. And that's going to be it. I'm happy with a draw. It gives us a point against a, a tougher opposition and uh, gives us a bit more time to recover from that 3-1 loss again against Michelin. So it's all right. It's an okay result. Quickly, we're just going to go over some of the transfers before I finish off the episode. We're going to do the transfer window at the start of next episode, just in case I see some comments saying you should get these players. So Vindicliff's gone to Lingby for 570,000. Stenberg's gone on loan. Hassan's gone uh, to that team. Uh, and Winter, he's gone on loan as well. Absalonson has been out of the club for a while. We actually have a decent amount of budget. I have one, a few players that I think would be pretty good to get. I've also got a bit of a little, like, um thing going on here with some players that I think would do quite well for us. Uh, some of these guys we could probably get, like Martin here, we could probably get him now. Um, Hosner as well would be one we definitely play. But then these guys probably, you know, they'd get more rotational game time. And I'm looking more for rotational players that will that are young that we can then put into the squad in a year or two. Um, because here's the thing. I look at this team. Albeck, Jakobsen, Kanstrup, Thomas are all decently old. So we'll probably let them go when their contracts expire. Players like Ba, Onazi... Right, will most likely end up moving on as well at some point because of potential. So we need a bench and reserve, you know, that, that's going to be able to come in really handy for us and have a constant stream of players and young players in our team. Now, one of the big things that I, I'm doing for this is going to be the youth academy because I want um, I want us to have a very good youth academy that's producing good players that can come through very often so that we're not going to be you know n having no players at all so that's that's really it we definitely need a midfielder so I'll probably look through a few of these options and see what I can find just as like a young player that I could bring in um, that can grow into the team that's not like super established or anything like that um, that won't want a lot of money 
Because that's really what I'm looking for. And um, I'm also going to be looking at a few goalkeeper options as well that we could bring in. But here's another thing. As we look through the transfer window, you look at the players that... Okay, well, so Randers have spent a bit of money. Uh, we've gotten rid of players, but a lot of players are being sold. Not too many teams are bringing in players. I mean... Copenhagen's gotten rid of two and only really brought in half of what they sold. Um, Michelin's done quite well, though. But those are things we've got to be aware of um, because we want the league overall to improve. And so uh, not just us. So we'll have to see what happens. But um, no, I didn't mean to do that. But if you guys have any suggestions for players we should be bringing in, make sure you go ahead and tell me in the comment section below players that we can get this season. Otherwise, I'm probably going to set up a bit more in the Youth Academy just so we can start having a bunch of world-class players just sitting in our Youth Academy. So when we start selling some players off or just letting player contracts run out, for some of our older players, we have young players that can come in and do a job for us. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.